So today's little task is um, trying to sort some corrosion out on uh, on my old LDV camper. Um, it's a lot worse than I thought. Um, I've taken a, a wooden panel off here and looking behind it's corroded. All the rust has got in behind this slider for the, uh, for the side door. A um, little bit tricky to get into the back edge down, down here. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll have a little look from underneath, see what we can do. So I lifted the vehicle up and there's a lot of uh, a lot of damage due to somebody jacking it up in the dim and distant past. Um, and I have had to go pulling it down with some clamps, but actually that is really strong. So I've cut a slot in there uh, to help pull it down. Um, didn't work too much, too well. Started to tack a plate on there. It's very rough, but uh, I was struggling. I was on my back at home. Uh, so I just tapped it and called it a day. So we're going to tidy that up today if I can. And this is the section we looked at from the other side. So in here, is the channel for the sliding door. Um, so I'm going to cut this section out and that should give me access. Get rid of that access into there to tidy it all up, tie it all together, and then I'll put a new plate over it. Okay, so I've cut that section out now. That's remains of a previous repair there. I'm going to take that out as well. This is the back of the channel. Although it looks grotty, it's quite sound. I'm going to take that out and take this outer skin off. And then I'll replace the whole thing. It should be good to go. Okay, so I've got that uh, section cut out. I'm going to trim it and just strain it up a little bit. Um, but instead of dropping the plate down the back and spot welded it to it, which is the original idea, which allowed all the water to run down, I'm just going to come down and stitch weld it onto the top there. That'll make that nice and secure. And then <laughs> what I came in to do originally, I'll pop a little plate in the back there, tidy it all up. And then I'm thinking of I found this piece of inch box and I'm probably going to now take this bottom section out and put an inch box in, make it nice and tight. Okay, so that's a plate fabricated now. Uh, just got this leading edge to uh, weld in. Um, all the back of the channel, I don't know if you can make it, make it out, but down, down in that bottom there, probably a bit better that's all been remade all fabricated um, plates are just stitch welded in not the neatest of jobs but uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry because I need to be off this ramp in another hour and there's a lot more to do yet okay so I made a executive decision and decided to uh, Replace that box that supports it. It was all over the place, with a lot of rust in it. Um, so I've, got, I've cut the outer skin off. This section's pretty sound. And once I've put a new outer piece on, which I'm gonna use a 25 by 25 mil box, I can pump that full of wax and it should be good to go. Right, I've cut a bit of inch box now. Uh, trimmed all the, the corrosion out. And just started to uh, stitch that in place I'll see if I can capture it on video for you
Okay, so that's not going anywhere. So got a bit of a plate to fabricate up there. A little plate into the corner. And then underneath I need to jack the original the original panel up, jack it into place and stitch that on. <laughs> 